With the news that the DND and PAF are revising the requirements including the quantity for the multi-role fighters as part of Horizon 3 phase, we mentioned in our post last night that it could be doomed for Saab and Sweden. Area to expound it further. 1. Saab's offer with the JAS 39C D Gripen was selected as the preferred offer by the PAF's technical working group due to a number of performance factors including perceived low operating cost, quick turnaround time during continuous air operations, ease of maintenance, stall capability, less rigorous airfield requirements, and ability to fire the MBDA Meteor air-to-air -air missile. But other factors that really help politically are its lower purchase price, and commitment to faster delivery time. While the decision to go with Saab was made as early as late 2020, it appears that the Swedish government has not made an approval to sell the Gripens to the Philippines until only on November or December 2022, or only months after Prez. Ferdinand Marcos Jr. came to power. This means Sweden took their time to approve the sale to the Philippines when Saab was already vigorously offering it since 2015. If only Sweden approved the sale early on, the Moan defense cooperation should have been ratified already a few years ago and the sale of Gripen's pushing through in either late 2021 or early 2022. 2. While the MRF project only required a minimum of 12 fighters, Saab made a juicy offer by offering 14 fighters versus Lockheed Martin's offer of only able to sell 6 F-16 Block 70 Vipers for the US$1.1 billion United States dollars budget. This is because Saab already has 14 JAS 39C D Gripen airframes ready to be completed and can be delivered in two years. But now that the PAF is looking for more than 12 aircraft, which we presumed last night to be between 24 to 36 fighters, obviously Saab cannot provide that number since the JAS 39C D is already out of production, and only THR 14 said airframes are the last available ones from Saab. Sweden also cannot offer second-hand JAS 39C D since the Swedish Air Force has yet to transition to the new JAS 39E F Gripens, and may only have available seat D units starting 2026-2028. 3. There could be a silver lining for Saab and Sweden though, as it may offer the newer JAS 39E F Gripen. But based on news reports, it costs as much or even more than the F-16 Block 70 Viper, and the delivery lead time isn't good either unless if Sweden makes way for a potential Philippine order. If not, both reasons defeat the major purpose of going for Saab. 4. To answer a query yesterday that said, Teodoro might mean reduction of numbers instead of increase when he said there are changes in quantity. It's not probable that the numbers would be decreased. This is because 12 fighters was already acceptable to both PAF, DND and Malakanang before SEC. Teodoro mentioned in a Senate hearing that 12 or 14 isn't enough. Secondly, as we said before the DND was already negotiating with the USDOD on possible grant of F-16s to PAF as part of EDCA and SSAR, while the Gripen deal was being ironed out. And third, SEC, Teodoro had a serious talk with the PAF leadership before the Senate hearing and asked for the real magic number of MRFs needed. And it's not 12 or 14, but definitely way higher, for reasons of confidentiality, we won't say the exact number.